It's a long way from the Philippines to the Pacific Northwest. For Cres Pelius, it's a world away. Cres works as a custodian at the Naval Hospital in Bremerton. For much of the year, it's as gray here as the mothballed battleships that line the waterfront. But Cres is one of those remarkable people who blooms where he's planted. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Have a seat, please. Uh, Chris, could I have you go and shampoo Chief Miller's office for me this morning? Okay. And then after that, go to building 87 and we condition the floors over there for me. He's always been a great guy. To this day, he is. And uh, uh, the first time I met Chris, um, I just thought he was going to be great for us, working for us. It's just his attitude and uh, his big smile, like he has right now. He still has that big smile every day he comes to work. Karen Clements is Cress's supervisor at the hospital. Chris is responsible for cleaning exam rooms, office spaces, corridors, uh, utility rooms, uh, restrooms, etc. Um, it's very detailed uh, uh, oriented, uh, so uh, we have to make sure they disinfect everything here, and uh, um, he, he does that real well. She's known him for 20 years, and from the start, she says he was a godsend. He uh, always comes to work with a neat uniform on, always clean, ironed, always ironed his uniform, and nice. He just looks good when he comes to work. It, it, has a, it makes such a good impression on everybody, the staff, the hospital staff, and everybody else. And it's good for the other employees to see. Uh, it, it's a good impression of, uh, that they have of him when he comes to work like that. Cress is employed by Skookum, a member of the Ability One Network located in Washington State. These Skookum folks are just tremendous. They're passionate about what they do, and they're a huge part of our mission of taking care of our patients. They keep the, the hospital spotless. Captain Mark Bowker is the hospital's yeah. commander. Yeah. All right, Chris, congratulations, man. We are so proud of you. Thank My you God, 40,000 employees, and, and you, you got it. Thank you very much. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Chris. Cress's award came as no surprise to the commander. He not only gets a job done very well, but when I see him in the morning come out the uh, elevators early on, I see him with a big smile on his face. He's always friendly to me. He's always friendly to the patients. And he's just got a great attitude. Everyone loves working with Cress. There are 30 Skookum employees at the Naval Hospital, but it's clear Cress is everyone's favorite. He's upbeat, and uh, he's a good example to show to everybody else around him. And we have people with that has disabilities in our department. And they could learn something from Chris. Night, dog. Night, Chris. See you tomorrow. I never hear him complain about anything, and which is so nice, because knowing that he doesn't feel, feel very good all the time. Chris doesn't complain because it's not in his nature. He's a gentle soul who lives like Moonlight's apprentice, quietly shining at his job and working through the pain to entertain his co-workers. My pain is 24 hours the back of my head. He credits his co-worker and friend Violetta Kandare for getting as far as he has with Parkinson's disease. There you go, Chris. Hold it. Out of necessity, she is also his caregiver. When he's really in really bad pain, he, he uh, sometimes he told me that not give up on him. I told him, no, no I'm not going to give up. Violetta gently guides him as they go through their days together, knowing that he must keep moving to better deal with the Parkinson's. And he'll try to make her smile. For these two, it's an even trade. He always make me laugh. <laughs> you know, when I do that, I forget the pain. I don't want sitting there by myself and feeling sorry for myself. In the Navy, they're serious about neatness, what they call spit and polish. There's no question that at the hospital in Bremerton, Cress Pelleas provides the polish. He's one in a million. He really is.